Hello. My name is Sadisha. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Anuradhapura. My favorite subject is English. So I like to learn English. One day I want to be an engineer. Okay. That's good. Because we're doing English today. So I hope you have fun. Anybody else? Hello, I'm Samili. I'm from Colombo. Uh, Hello. Uh, I'm 15 years old. Thank you. Okay, hello. I'm 19 years old. Quite near our age. Hello, I'm Dulsander. Hello, I'm hello. Dulsander. I live in Maravilla. Hello, Dulsander. Okay, anyone else want to go? Hello, um, I'm my, my name is Danusma. I'm from Sri Lanka. Hello, I'm uh, Bonia. Danusma, do you want to finish first? Then Bonia can go. Okay, nice to meet you. Bonia, do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Swanara and I'm from Colombo. Um, I'm 14. Shall we start? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, can everybody see my screen? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, so for this year, we're actually going to be doing assessments. So we're going to look at, at uh, practice questions and how we can uh, use what we have learned. Okay. So, first we're going to start with this exercise where these are the helping words. Butterflies, favorite, skirt, vase, photos, and biscuits. Then there's these five sentences. So, we have to see which one of these words fit into these five sentences. Okay, does anybody want to start and do the first one? May I? Okay, yes. So the first one is, uh, this is my album. Uh, look at all the all these uh, photos. Yes, very good. Okay, you get the answer because it's album, right? So you know that uh, album, you share photos inside. Okay, good job. Anybody want to try the next one? May I? Yes. I like this table, but I don't like the vase on it. Okay, very good. Okay. So the vase is like a decorative piece. So it's usually on the table or somewhere like that. Okay, very good. Next. May I? Yes, go ahead. Isn't this park lovely? Look at those but beautiful buttons. Sorry, can you say again? May I? Isn't this park lovely? Look at those beautiful. What's the answer? Butterflies. Yes, very good. Okay, very good. Next one. That yes. dog looks hungry. Let's give some biscuits. Yes, very good. Okay, the next, the last one. Anyone want to try? May I? Yes, go ahead. I like this. Skirt blue is my favorite color. Yes, very good. Okay. So one way that you also know the answer is skirts, right? Is because it says I like these. These is a plural word. So skirts is a plural because there's an S. That's how you know the answer for this is so okay. Very good. 
So that's why from this exercise, it's important to read the whole sentence to find out what the missing words are. Because there's clues in the sentence that tell you about the answer. Okay, next. Um, does anybody want to be Tom and someone be Bob? We can read out. So you just complete the dialogue with the helping words at the right. Anybody want to be Tom? Then um, you can read out Tom's lines. Anybody want to be Tom? Good morning. Nice to see you at the competitions this year, this year too. Okay, anybody want to be Bob? Good morning. Nice to see you. Okay. We are so a bit early. Yeah, so it's option F. Okay, just continue. Uh, Tom? We are a bit early, aren't we? Who's reading for Bob? It's always good to be early, isn't it? Okay, you can just yes. continue. Yes, we'll have to wait till 10 o'clock. Um, okay, they one got a spelling error. Okay, I'm going to say that you fill in the blank. Till then, can you blank? What's the answer? Till then, what's the answer for Bob? Till then, can you please, can you please uh, listen to, to my point? point? Yes, very good. Okay, continue then after Tom. Give it to me. Let me read it first. Very good. Okay, then. Ah, it's a beautiful poem. Okay, Bob. My teacher gave it to me. Yes, okay. Next. It's neatly typed. Who typed it? Seven. Seven. I did it in our school. I did it in our school computer room. Okay, very good. Okay. Anybody don't understand any of the parts? You can go back. Everybody understand? Yes, Peter. Okay. So the next one, you can take a look at it first. How many times have you been to Singharaja? Well, I have been there many times. Okay, yeah, anybody can just continue. How many times have you been to Singaraja? Well, I have been there many times. Okay, the next one. It that so. When did you go there last? During the holiday. What did you go with? Who did you go with? Yes, very good. Okay, so that one, good try. Uh, wait, but for because you're asking about people. So when you ask about people, you say who. You use what when you talk about objects. Like example, you want to say, what is that? What are you talking about? You also talk about action words. Okay, but if you're talking about people, then you use who because it's a person. See, like who did you go with? Who is that? Things like that, okay? But good try. So that one, the answer would be E, who. Okay, continue. Anybody can continue. With my aunt and her family, where does your aunt live? In Deniaya, very close, Singharaja. Why do you ask all these questions? Well, Sam, to be in Singharaja, I have to go there. So...
So can you read the last one again? So what the is one. the route? So what is the best route to take? Yes, okay, very good. Anybody have any questions? Anybody do understand? It's, it's okay, you don't have to be shy. We can go through. Okay, everybody okay? Yes, teacher. If you need any help, you can just raise your hand in the Zoom. Okay. Thanks. Who wants to try the first question? Hey, who wants to try the first question? Just fill in the blanks. The answer is either one, two, three, or four. Who wants to try the first one? Okay, um, Minila, you can try the first one. Avoid those men over there. They look dangerous. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Because when you're talking about over there, it's those. Because those is for something that is not like next to you, something far away. And then it's those because it's a man. Men is a plural term. So when you're talking about plural words, you use those. Okay? So if the men were beside you, you would say these. But since the men are over there, that's why you put those. Okay? So the answer is four. Very good. Anybody want to do the next one? Question number two. Could you please help me with these heavy boxes? Mary pointed to the boxes next to me. Wait, what's your, what's your answer? One or... This. This. So the first one is it? Could you please help with me with these heavy boxes? Mary pointed to the boxes ne next to her. Okay, good job, both of you. So since the boxes are next to her, right? Like in the last question we talked about, that's why it's these. Because they are beside her. So, and it's a plural because there's boxes. So, there's many boxes and the boxes are next to her. That's how you say these boxes. Okay, good job. Anybody want to do the next one? This week seems to be it's hot. Last week. Last week. That's it. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Tashi, do you want to do the next one? The new teacher has a hard time controlling her. Yeah, the new teacher has a hard time controlling the class. It's the because we're talking about one specific person. So the specific person is the teacher. Okay? okay. The answer is four. Okay, last one. Who wants to do? Lee, may, five. Lee, Lee may give me gave me an angry look. When she saw me talking to Le Louis. Very good. Okay, the answer is two. Sometimes this gets a bit tricky between whether to use A or whether to use N. Okay, so what's the thing is, if the next word, it starts with A, E, I, or U, then you use N. See, angry starts with the A, so it starts with the vowel. That's how we use the word, gave me an angry look. Okay, and that's why it's not a. Good job. Okay, next. Who wants to do the first one? An aroma of coffee never fails to wake him up from his slumber. Yes. Okay. The aroma of coffee. Okay. Next. My little brother is the most annoying person I have ever met. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. The next one? Look, that man is feeding the monkeys. Mm. Yeah, gets claim. Yes. Okay, very good. Because you're talking about someone far away, right? She says, look, that man is feeding the monkeys. Okay? Okay, next. Question nine. 
Yes, okay, very good. So now you see we're using a. Uh, we're using a uh, because the next word starts with s. It's, s is not a vowel. Vowels are only a, e, i, and u. Okay, so that's why we use a uh, and not n. So sometimes it may be a bit uh, confusing about which one to choose. So you just see what's the next word. Okay, question 10, who want to do? Who wants to do question 10? Just with some way, same word, eight is. Okay. Now, good try, but do you want to try again? It's not. Okay. When you want to talk about a particular thing, and you want to try again? Everyone was, so, dis everyone was disgusted with that way someone ate his food. Okay. So, this one, right? Okay, good try. is actually with the way Samuel ate his food. Because we're talking about something specific, which is how Samuel ate his food. So we're talking about this, you see, the way. Okay, because um, you want to talk about the manner in which he did it. So when you want to specifically talk about that, use the. Okay, if you want to, want to talk about that, you can say, oh, look at that monkey. Okay, like uh, how question eight, look, that man is feeding the monkeys. Okay, so uh, that's why the answer is actually the but good try. Who has to do next one? Life is short, so we should be because life is short, so we should be because no one. Okay, so it's our loved ones dearly because loved ones is basically people that we love. So they are our loved ones, okay? That's why it's, uh, answer is three. Okay, next one. Wait patient for your turn. This road to cut you. Yes. Laura told me. Very good. Okay, next. This is a white teacher who always gives that <laughs> Her pill feels good advice. Very good. So it's her because Miss Lee is a girl. If it's Mr. Lee, the answer will be his pupil. Okay? So when we're talking about a girl, we use her and she. When we're talking about a boy, we use his or he. Okay? Everybody understand? Any yeah. questions? Yeah. Okay, the next one, question four. Everyone complimented him on how well he had raised everyone his children him on how okay his children because it everyone complimented him on how well he so you know because of him and he you know this talking about a boy that's why it's his children okay very good the last one the cat pet had gay and gray because he had stepped on its tail. Yeah, on its tail. So when we talk about a girl, you say she, hers, her. But when you're, when you're talking about a boy, you say his and he. But when you're talking about animal or things like that, it's its. Okay? The answer is two. Okay, next one, who wants to do? The children sat at their desk while they waiting while they waiting for the teacher. Yes, okay, because you're talking about children. So children is plural. So that's why it's their desk. Okay. Question seven. You are running late. Don't take your own sweet time. I told even. Yes, okay. Don't take your own sweet time. Okay, very good. Okay, Chase next. Likes to chase after its own tail. Okay, very good. So it's like we talked about just now. When you're talking about animals, you say it or its. Okay? okay. Next, question nine. The patient was horrified when he saw the red spots on his feet. Yeah, okay. So it's his 
Because when he saw. So you know he's talking about a boy. Okay. Question 10. We refuse to let his ugly remarks dumpen our shield for the party. Yes. Okay. So do you understand why this is our? Because the subject is we. Yes, very good. Because the subject is we. And we is a plural term. So if I change the sentence to I refuse to let his ugly remarks dampen dash, what would be my answer? I refuse. My? Yes, very good. Because if it's I refuse, I am the subject. So I'm talking about my own thing. Okay, very good. If you don't understand, you can just raise your hand or you can just say, okay? Tashi, you raised your hand. Do you not understand? I'm sorry, teacher, it's mistake. Oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm I am from Singapore. Yeah. Okay. Somebody asks. Okay, next. Who wants to do the next one? You have, you have me given so me many so many that, that, that I do not, not know how to how thank you. you. Do you thank? So good try. I had some of you use the word, you have given me so many help. Okay? So help, right? You cannot uh, use many because it's not like a thing. Help, you so cannot help. Yes, it's so much. Okay? Like, um, okay, example, sweets. Sweets is something that you can count. So if I say you have given me so many sweets, then it makes sense, okay? Because I can count the number of sweets, but I can't count the number of help because help is not like a thing. Okay, that's why we use so much help. So use much is to show that it's a lot, but you don't have a specific number because you can't put a number on help, okay? And we understand? You can raise your hand if you don't understand. Okay, who want to do the next one? Sharon checks offense easily. No one wants to be close to her. Yes, very good. So you know that the answer is no one because it's a negative thing. Sharon takes offense easily. That means everything also, Sharon gets upset. She's very sensitive. So when it's like that, that's why no one wants to be close to her. Okay? I could never get... But enough of Mr. Tan's mom talking curry puff. Very good. Okay, I can never get enough of Mrs. Tan's mom watering curry puff. So when you, what does this mean is, it's a phrase, I can never get enough. That means, you're saying that no matter how many I have, it won't be enough because I love it so much. So that's what you're trying to say, okay? So you can use this phrase for anything. I can say I can never get enough of playing with dogs. Just to show that you love playing with dogs so much. Okay? Okay. So, uh, question four. Each of my two sisters receive a sweater from our aunt Idora. Yes. Okay. Because um, the answer is one. Because when you're talking about both your sisters, right? And both of them individually, they get a sweater. So it's each. So if I say my two sisters receive a sweater from our aunt, that means you don't know if the two sisters share one sweater or is it one sister has one sweater. You don't understand. But when you say each of my two sisters receive a sweater, that means you're saying that the aunt gave one sweater to one sister and give another sweater to another sister. Okay? So it makes the sentence more clear. That's why it's each of my two sisters receive a sweater okay question five 
the drunken man collapsed on the ground after taking a few steps. Yes, very good. Okay, the drunken man collapsed on the ground after taking a few steps. Yes, so uh, steps is actually something that you can count. That's why you can say a few steps. Who wants to do question six? Question six. And I want to do question six. I didn't bring I... any money to school today. May I borrow some for you from you? Yes, okay. Very good. So this question actually has two parts, so it's a bit more tricky, but good job. Okay, question seven. Each people is squashed into the lift until there was hardly room to the breathe. Okay, good try. But this one you don't use each. Okay, so this question, this, this question, right, this sentence, you want to show that there were so many people in the lift. That there was no space for you to breathe. Also. So when it's telling you that means you know that the lift is so crowded. So you want to talk about that. You know that it's not four. It cannot be few people. Because if it's a few people, then why is the lift crowded? Okay? So then you look at option one. Several people. Several means uh, a few, like a lot. Okay? So that's why the answer would be one. Because it's several people squeezed into the lift until there was hardly enough, hardly room to breathe. So you're saying that so many people squeezed into the lift that there was no room to breathe. Okay, anybody don't understand this? Can okay, raise your hand. <laughs> anybody doesn't understand? Okay, anyone want to do the next one? Question eight. Unlike his other friends, Tony was not permitted to go on the campfire. Okay, very good. Okay, so you're doing a comparison. So unlike his other friends, okay? Very good. Okay, question nine. I have tired to dissuade him from smoking many times, but to no avail. Okay, so... Very good. Okay, many times because you can count the number of times. So it's many times. Do you understand the meaning of no avail? Do you understand the meaning? Okay, basically, no avail means it didn't work. Okay, so I've tried to dissuade him from smoking many times. So I told him don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. I told him a lot of times, but it didn't work. So he still smokes. That's what the second part of the sentence means. Okay? Okay, next. Question 10. Who wants to do? I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself here. here and I have decided, have decided to stay for more day. Yes. Okay? Uh, sorry, not more. It's actually another. Because um, more day, um, when you use the word more, right, the next word is usually a plural word. So, more days. But since it's a singular, we're talking about one thing. So it's not more days, it's another day. Okay? Unless you say, I enjoyed myself here and have decided to stay for one more day. Because then you're being specific. But if you talk specific number, then you cannot say for more day. Okay, because it is a singular word. So that's why in this case, you actually use another. So this one, you have to be a bit careful. You have to read the sentence to see whether it will be more or another. Okay? Okay. Who wants to do the next one? Since the trip is, the trip is a short one, you just need to bring a few items. Yes, very good. Okay. So the answer is a few. Because again, items is something that you can count. So you can count whether you need a lot or you need a little or what. So that's why. 
uh, it's few, okay? Because you can uh, see how much it is. And you know that the sentence is telling you that you need you don't need a lot because you said the strip is a short one. Okay? The next question, who wants to do? Both my arms, my arms ache after oh. carrying that hip. Okay, does anybody want to share why you think the answer is both? It's correct, but does anybody want to explain why the answer is both? Because uh, there are two arms, that's why we use both. Yes, very good. Okay, so the arms is actually plural because it's an F. So that's why we know that it's both. But if, there's, if it's just one arm, I can just see my arm aches after carrying that heavy box. Okay, but since I'm talking about two hands, two arms, that's why I use the word boom. Okay? And we understand? Next yes. question three. Due to the lack of clues, the police made much progress in their efforts to find the murder. Okay. So, okay, good try. But okay, we we'll read this question, right? Okay, let's, let's break this question down, okay? The first part of the question is this, due to the lack of clues. So, lack means you don't have, okay? So, due to the lack of clues means there isn't much clues. So, do you think that that means the police would have made a lot of progress if they don't have clues? If I was doing an investigation, if I don't have any clues, do you think I can help solve the mystery? What do you think? Would I need clues to solve the mystery? So there's a mystery going on. Do you think it would be better for me to have more clues or less clues? Anybody want to answer? It's better to you to have more clues to investigate. Yes, exactly. Okay. But then look at this question. They say due to the lack of clues. So this is telling you that they didn't have a lot of clues. So that's why um, earlier someone answered and said made a much progress in their efforts. So, but the police can't really make much progress if they don't have the clues. That's why for this question, it is little yeah, progress. Okay? Because you're saying that the police couldn't, couldn't um, um, do a lot do to a help lot. solve their mystery, which is to find the murderer. Okay? But if, okay, if I change the question and I say, uh, due to there being a lot of clues, then I can say the police made much progress in their efforts to find the murderer. Because that means the police has the clues and the police can make it. So you use the word lack. Lack means don't have. Okay? okay. Next question four. The tourists do not 